peeps. Today we're going to be talking about wood and skill saws. I'm Kenny Molotov, licensed plumber, professional magician, and entertainer. On this channel, I go through the ins and outs of my career in plumbing. I take you through a day in the life and we talk tools, theory, and mindset. I'm trying to give you an arsenal of knowledge and an online resource so you can take this trade head on and find yourself successful on the other end. Click subscribe, hit that bell notification, and let's talk pipes. Peeps, Kenny Molotov, and today I wanted to talk to you about something that is sort of the behind the scenes of what you do in plumbing, and that's mainly talking about wood and talking about mounting our fixtures to wood, because at some point in your career, you're gonna notice that you're gonna need to either mount a shower control valve to a piece of wood, or you're gonna have to secure pipes to wood. So it is a little bit inevitable that at some point, you're gonna have to get some skills with woodworking. Now, I don't expect you to become a carpenter or anything like that, but you're gonna have to have some things in place so that you can at least finish the job at hand. So I want to talk to you about my experiences with wood, what we typically have on the truck at all times so that if we run into any issues, we have wood handy. And our go-to type of wood that we typically have is usually this bad boy right here. This is plywood. This is only a quarter of an inch. We also typically carry thicker, like three quarters of an inch and one inch. We also have half an inch on this. And we found that in our past, plywood is typically the go-to type of wood that we aim for to bring on to a job site. Now, those pieces that I showed you back there aren't as large as we normally bring. We normally bring smaller pieces like this, even a bit longer than this, depending on the distance between studs that we're mounting it to. And the reason is, is because at some point, if you ever do a shower control valve, you have to mount that shower control valve to a piece of wood. And the difficulty is, is that you don't always find wood on the job site that you can use. You bring that wood with you. So if you ever see my restaurant or coffee shop builds, you'll notice that most of my pipes are secure to some form of plywood. And the great thing about plywood is that you can get them in different sizes, which is awesome, but you could, they're also fairly cheap. You can get a length of eight feet by four feet of plywood for 11 bucks, for example. And the other thing is a lot of us have a skill saw on us because of their small sort of profile. They're kind of ideal for having inside the truck. There are a lot of benefits to grabbing plywood and there are a lot of benefits to having this skill saw with you at all times. The good thing about a skill saw, it makes the job a little bit easier for you. You don't have to cut anything a little bit difficultly with a sawzall, for example. And the other problem with sawzalls, especially if you're going for a long distance, they just don't have the sturdiness that a skill saw will have. So what I wanted to talk about today was sort of the importance of having a method of cutting a piece of wood at a 90 degree angle, at a pretty decent 90 degree angle. So in this video, I'm gonna show you how I created this cross cut jig so that I can get some pretty decent cuts when I need to. Let's get to work. Boy, you had me from the start By the way you stared, the way you wrote upon me, yeah, yeah Man, I felt your energy Wasn't used to being loved and treated differently, yeah But something went wrong those got crossed and now we're on completely different pages let's go where we were when no one gets hurt baby keep it right there don't you stress the flow you're trying to pick the pace up we should take it slow baby keep your focus don't you make me change my mind if you love me baby don't you switch up the fight baby don't you baby don't you baby don't you switch up the fight baby don't you baby don't you baby don't you switch up the fight will you take me on a trip always up and down and back and forth in merry go round i just wanna get it right but when you go left, I'm stuck here feeling left behind Cause something went wrong, the signals got crossed And now we're going different directions Let's go where we were, when no one gets hurt Baby, keep it right there, don't you stress the flow You're trying to pick the pace up, we should take it slow Keep your focus, don't you make me change my mind If you love me, baby, don't you switch up the vibe Baby, don't you, baby, don't you 
Okay, peeps, so I wanted to show you the progress with the crosscut jig that I'm doing here for this skill saw. So as you can see right here with the skill saw, it's got quite a bit of real estate on the left-hand side right here. That's the motor that turns the blade, essentially. So what I had to do was find some sort of track. So I used this piece of wood right here, which is approximately three and a quarter inches wide in order to give it a sturdy sort of guide right down here. And this piece right here to the right is actually the magical one. This is the one that gives us the 90 degree cross cut that we're looking for. As you can see right here, if you put it up right next to it, it looks pretty solid, looks pretty flush right there. And if you go on the other side as well, same sort of conversation, same sort of thing. The second way that I double checked was I took this measurement right here from end to end. You're looking at approximately, approximately six and a quarter inches. The measurement from here to here is approximately the exact same. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna set up the tripod. I'm gonna do our first cut, see how it goes and take it from there. There's a couple other things about this crosscut jig that I just want to say is this is something I'm probably going to opt to keep at home so that whenever I buy big sheets of plywood I can sit down and actually cut them to a pretty good angle and decide upon how many pieces of plywood I want to bring to the job site with me. The only time I would bring this onto a job site is if I know I have a lot of wood to mount which would be something I'd probably do if I was doing another coffee shop or another restaurant build like my father and I have done in the past but for the most part I think it is at an at home jig for me. The thing that I like about crosscut jigs is that you don't have to have this big of an imprint if you don't want to. If you wanted a smaller one to keep in the truck, that would be an option for you as well. You could always make it to size and you of course have to make it according to the skill saw that you have in your truck. Some of you might have circular saws and they might be completely different dimensions as this skill saw that I have right here. The last few things that I wanted to say about plywood in general is that plywood is a really useful material because you can actually play with depth with plywood. especially if you have three quarters, one inch, half inch, quarter of an inch. If you have that in your truck, it's so useful because you'll be able to shim things with it. And you're always dealing with depth as a plumber because your shower control valve has to be flush with the drywall and the tile. So you gotta make sure that you have the appropriate depth that you need. And with having strips of plywood in your truck that are different sizes, you can have a better shot at getting the appropriate depth right on and flush and plumb the way you need it. And that's why plywood seems to be our typical go to wood that we have in the truck. So peeps, I hope you enjoyed this video. This is something new that I'm trying out, maybe to do some more do-it-yourself stuff at home so that you learn more tips and tricks and behind the scenes things that we plumbers need. Just wanted to remind you all, the plumbing course is live and I'm gonna give you an additional week of 10% off because of the current climate we're all dealing with. I know that money is an issue with this virus going around, so it's an additional 10% off. $74.99 is the original price. It's at $67.50 for this entire week week as well. Links up above so you can see the thorough video of what is encompassed in that course. It's over nine and a half hours of content. It's going to be really useful for you if you're planning on going into your apprenticeship or you're already in your apprenticeship and you struggle with math. So check that out. Like, subscribe, comment, and I'll see you plumbers very soon. Kenny Molotov, guys. Peace, baby. Well, you had me from the start. By the way you stare, the way you wrote up on me, yeah, yeah Man, I felt your energy Wasn't used to being loved and treated different